Asia's stock market bull run ended its 12-year reign as political turmoil dragged equities down more than 20% from their peak. Our next guest thinks Malaysia's markets are unlikely to recover soon. Let's bring in Capital Dynamics CEO Tan Teng Bu, who joins us from Kuala Lumpur. Teng Bu, good to have you with us. We know that the KLCI bull run overcame everything from the one MDB scandal to the U.S.-China trade war. This perhaps was a long time coming. This is a correction long time coming. Yeah, I totally agree, Haslinda. Uh, it is long overdue. And I think the situation is extremely fluid, even as we are talking now. So where does it go from here? Um, not very, I'm particularly not very optimistic. I think there are three possible scenarios. One where we can have, whoever the Prime Minister may be, we can have a reform and a reborn Malaysia. Uh, the po second possible scenario is where we muddle through. The third scenario is where we have turmoil and turbulence. The first scenario, it's almost impossible, the reform and reborn. The turbulent and turmoil that is very extreme which I hope does not unfold so out of the three scenarios I see that Malaysia most likely will muddle through whoever may be the Prime Minister and when you muddle through uh, in a global environment where there are so many disruptions so many crises uh, you really don't have a team in Malaysia that is able to navigate the country in such a hostile global environment. So, uh, looking at it from a longer term point of view, uh, I am not, uh, I'm not optimistic. Uh, Teng Bu, having said that, how closely are you watching the stimulus measures expected to be announced later today by uh, interim Prime Minister Mahathir Mohamad? How much of a support can that provide? Uh, well, to, to answer that question, the very, very uh, I, I, I don't even bother to read the stimulus package. Because <laughs> Why is that, the problems Tengu? that Malaysia faces, well, the problem that Malaysia faces are not short term. I mean, it is, if you are talking about an economy like, say, Singapore or China, for example, then you deal with temporary problems, with temporary solutions. The problems Malaysia faces are deep-seated, are structural in nature, and a stimulus package does nothing to address them. How about your pick for the next Prime Minister? Mahathir is 94, even if he keeps on going after this crisis in the job. He can't keep on going terribly long, can he? So who is going to step up after Mahathir is gone? <laughs> my, my, my answer to that question is that uh, Malaysia has reached a situation where there are no easy solutions. Yes, you have one Prime Minister who has overstayed his uh, leadership. You have one who has been waiting for a long time. But whoever comes into power has no majority. It's not going to be a real leader. So whoever comes in is going to face a weak government and a whole host of problems where you need a very strong government to deal with. So you find that whoever comes in because of the weak political uh, backing will not be able to re implement measures that can address the fundamental issues. So you're going to have uh, business as usual, populist style measures so that they can maintain their political offices. Now when you have that kind of short-term populist policy, you're just muddling through and at worst, you are worsening the structural problems that Malaysia is facing. Well, you're a fund manager, an investment advisor. You're one of the lucky souls who has to trade their way through all of this. So where do you see opportunities at the moment? <laughs> well, I mean, we are value investor. Uh, the, the fund that we manage, which is listed on Busan, Malaysia, we have about 55% uh, cash. So with that amount of cash that we're having, uh, each time the market goes down, we, we are extremely happy.
Now, but uh, having said that, there are many companies in this of Busan, Malaysia, that are well managed, that are not oriented towards just the Malaysian domestic uh, consumer market. There are many of them that are geared towards the global economy. So I think one has to be selective and there are, there are good picks and there are good choices uh, available. Tengu, talk to us about the good picks. What are you buying? What are you looking at? <laughs> Yeah, I think good picks in Malaysia is a bit of an oxymoron at the moment. Uh, well, we, we like counters like Apex Healthcare, uh, we like counters like Kellington, counters like Surya Capital, which is uh, based in Sabah, uh, we like counters like HPMT, and of course we like our, the, old, the fund that we are managing ourselves. All right, Capital Dynamics CEO Tan Teng Bu, thank you so much for joining us today. Now we're counting down to the opening session in India, now just about under four minutes away, so uh, stay with us.